So in numero 14, it says a softball game has an 8% chance of being canceled if it rains and a 30% chance of being canceled if there's fog when there's no rain. There's a 70% chance of fog with no rain and a 30% chance of rain. And I kind of read it a little bit quicker. So therefore, to kind of make it even more confusing as how it currently sounds, right? Because as you guys kind of break that down, that kind of seems pretty confusing. You're kind of going all over the place with everything, correct? Okay. So they asked us to create a tree diagram. And when we're creating a tree diagram, we're basically what we're going to do is we're going to create two conditions. OK, so based on everything that I've read, does anybody have a condition where it's kind of like one option or the second option? It's either one or the other. Yes, Nick Colas. So there's one option where it says, hey, this percentage is fog, this percentage is rain, right? Da da da. So before I even get into the percentages, let's just write that in. Fog, no rain, or rain. Was that easily a decision that that was something that is either one or the other? Does everybody agree? Okay. Then, so that's condition number one. So then after that condition, is there another condition that is happening, something where we're making a decision of one or the other? Yes, Anthony. Don't worry about what the percentages are. Just see what the condition is. Well, we already got that for condition one. So what's the other condition? If it was fog or rain or, or no fog or fog or rain, was there something else that we had a condition that it was split up from? Yes, Brendan? Canceled or not. Canceled or not, right? The game, if the game's canceled or not. So that's condition number two. So it's either canceled, not canceled. Canceled, not canceled. All right. So the main important thing that I would say to you guys is when you're creating a tree diagram, find the conditions first. Don't worry about all the hoopla and the problem. Find your conditions. Now let's try to fill it in based on what we know. So it says a softball game has an 80% chance of being canceled, 80% chance of being canceled, and a 30% chance of being canceled, or I'm sorry, has an 80% chance of being canceled if it rains. So if it rains, has an 80% chance of being canceled. Did everybody see that? So we'd write 80%. So if it's 80% being canceled if it rains, therefore for not being canceled to be 20%. Then the next part says a 30% chance of being canceled if there is fog and no rain. So 30% chance of being canceled if there's fog, no rain. Huh? That's a 30%. I just stopped writing it. So therefore, that has to be 70%. Does everybody agree with what I've filled in so far? All right. Then the next sentence says, there is a 70% chance of fog with no rain and a 30% chance of rain. So therefore, we have 30% chance and 70% chance. Cool? All right, so now, based on that information, we are going to answer questions. Would you guys prefer me to go through all this?